Well, hello friends, Coach Bob with you today, and today we got a couple of surprises in store for you. Actually, one surprise. <laughs> well, maybe two. Um, first off, it looks, if it appears that I am solo, it's because uh, I am solo on the spider. Uh, Coach Vic is going to meet me at the location that I am currently headed to. Um, but the, before we get going, if you would, do me a favor, give this video a thumbs up. Uh, even before you know you like it <laughs> and uh, share this channel with your friends we are trying to grow we do appreciate it we are growing it's nice and slow and steady but we'd appreciate fast and steady even more yeah we would all right um, so I want to talk about the trailer uh, that's why coach Vic is not on the spider with me um, the trailer Man, what a boondoggle this whole thing has been. It's an absolute tragedy and a parody of errors. I don't know who to blame. I don't know who not to blame. I don't know who to yell at, so I don't yell at anybody. So I'm just going to explain to you what's occurring with me, and, and I think all of you have been there. Um, I've, I've discussed this with many people who have gotten parts for for their spider and for trailers and things like that and some of the frustrations that they've experienced and a lot of them have aligned with my experience this time you know and it has not been a pleasant one I'm just gonna be quite frank with you so so over two weeks ago I dropped my trailer off uh, I was told that there was a box of parts there and those parts were for my Can-Am spider they had a parts list and a packing slip out on the outside of the box they pulled the packing slip. They didn't want to damage the parts because it's in a shop. The thing comes gel coated. You know, the, the big piece that covers the back of the spider is gel coated. And so they didn't want to risk scratching it and the tail light was in there and all that. So they were like, we'll just, once you get your trailer down here, we'll open it up, we'll get it going. So they get the trailer down there, they open the box, they see the shroud, they see the bag with the, with the, with the tail light in there. They pull the shroud out. They're like, okay, everything looks good. We're going to go ahead and pull the shroud off. So they get the trailer basically disassembled. Then they go to put the tail light on. What they sent was not a tail light. It was apparently a reflector of some kind off of a side-by-side. -side. So it was the right part number, but the wrong part. And the part number on the part itself was different than the part number that was on the bag. So, uh, our local dealer calls BRP and they go, hey, look, you sent me the wrong part. Uh, it's whatever, whatever. Okay, well, we'll overnight you a new part. Well, overnight to them doesn't mean overnight, apparently. Uh, overnight in, in their language means, you know, another four days. So, they do a four-day overnight and they send it to the wrong dealership. Nice, okay. So then, you know, something happens, blah, 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 go down the line. Um, the, part ain't in the, it, the part isn't in the box anyway. Didn't matter. The part wasn't even there. Okay, so now it's just like a vapor. It's a vapor part. It's a miracle uh, uh, vapor part. It's a ghost. <laughs> um, I ain't afraid of no ghost. So I'm calling, I need an update, I need an update, I need an update. One week turns into two weeks, and then there you are. Now I call down there, hey, what's the story? Well, it looks like they'll have the part to us by the 19th. The 19th. Now, we were told this part was in stock, would be shipped, would be installed in two hours. So today... You know, is obviously not the 19th, and I don't obviously do the video the morning that you're watching it. We'll just say the 19th is about 11 days away for us. Okay, all right. So the trailer's disassembled at the local dealership with half the parts, and I'm waiting. Um, so that's just where it is. If I sound a little frustrated, it's because I am a little frustrated with it. I'm not angry. I'm not beat up over it. But, you know, we're pushing to the Deland time, which means for us that if Coach Vic wants to do the Deland Spider Rally, <laughs> well, it's going to be awfully dang hard because she ain't going to have a wheelchair and I can't carry her for miles at a time. I mean, I carry her in and out of restaurants. When you start talking about, you know, going into a hotel where you're in a lobby and going waiting for an elevator and all that, man, you just, I can't do it. It's just, we just can't do it. 
So right now we're stuck. We're just stuck. So we're hoping that, that it'll be here before the land. If not, I'll be going to the land solo. Um, but I really want her to go. I want her to experience it. But but we'll see. Uh, she's a little frustrated with it. I'm a little frustrated with it. But there, there's just nothing we can do about it. So there's the update on the trailer debacle. The trailer tragedy. <laughs> well... You know, there are real tragedies in life, and there are frustrations and bumps in the road, but that's just how it is, you know. Um, you know, I've talked to some, some uh, viewers who have gotten their spiders in, and then the parts weren't there, you know, for them to complete them, and, and they've gotten the same story. It'll be next week, 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 and all of a sudden, those weeks turn into next month, next month, next month, and there have been some who have said, you know what, give me my money back, we're done, I'm not waiting anymore. And the dealers have honored that. Um, they're just done. They're just tired of waiting. You know, um, went out and bought something else. Uh, it's just, it's just the way it is. Uh, I, my problem wasn't so much with the fact that, you know, the the part was here or there. Uh, my question is, was the part ever even shipped to begin with? And is everything just kind of being, you know, to keep things from looking too bad was it ever even sent but you know I wasn't there so I don't know um, but it is frustrating so for those of you waiting on parts for your spider for those of you wanting to get on the road and get your face in the wind you know I, I feel your pain um, in the sense that you know coach Vic can't be with me when we do trips now local trips going to a restaurant man I'll, I'll, I'll carry her behind all over the place you know I don't I don't have a problem doing that We've been doing that a long time, and so far, so good. I mean, that's one of the reasons I go to the gym every day is so that I can continue to do that as long as I possibly can because eventually, you know, as I get older and more fragile, um, there will come a time I won't be able to just pick her up and, you know, walk into a restaurant and toss her into a chair. And So today, what are we doing today? Well, first off, it is a beautiful day. If I sound a little haggard, I was up till about 1 o'clock last night. Yesterday was a long day. It was a 4 a.m. day to a 1 a.m. day. Um, got up, did my gym stuff, and then I did a bunch of editing yesterday, and then, you know, did some work on music last, yesterday, and then we had a, a gig last night at the Tallahassee House of Music. It was really, really cool place. Um, it was for a private party, but it was really fun, man. Um, the, the nice stage, good PA system good sound guy it was it was good it was good so we had a good time it was a lot of fun i'll drop some pictures right here you get to see me and my brother dallas up there playing a little playing a little music just doing our thing it's very laid back what we do um we do stuff all it was just all over the place but anyway it's a really good time so if i sound a little a little rough in the throat that's why but where we're going this morning, and I hope everything comes to fruition, uh, I'm going on a tail of a tail of a tail of a tail, but I was out for a morning ride, and so that was my plan anyway, was to, to go over and check this out, and uh, it's it's called Cars and Coffee. Um, it, it's at, at a lo lo little local restaurant and a church parking lot that where we've been a couple of times, taking you along with us. Um, it, it's, it's a great place. Can't think of the name of the place. It's something biscuit the biscuit biscuit i don't know anyway coach fix the uh, restaurant tour in our life i don't even know that that's a word <laughs> it is now <laughs> yeah it's cars and coffee and it's 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 going to be pretty cool uh the last time i went they had everything from ferraris to amc pacers it was it was pretty daggum awesome um a lot of the the, the vehicles of my youth um, the, the, the Novas and the Chevelles and the Chevy 2s, um, the Malibus, the, even some of the Monte Carlos with the Landau roofs and all that stuff, where guys had, had done those, really they had, they had restored them. They had taken them that had been, that had been basically, you know, made to be a little hot rod or whatever and, and, and took them back to original condition. And it was really cool to see these old cars with these velour seats and Landau roofs and all that stuff. And uh, what was the, uh, the porthole windows in the Landau top? It was really cool. They're just really cool. So who knows? It's going to be a mixed bag of tricks as we head over there. 
But I hope you're doing fine this wonderful Saturday morning. I'm doing good, man. I'm going to tell you, life is good. If, if life was less busy, it'd probably be a disappointment. You know, I, I love running, 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 running. Y'all know that. Um, but today, I think there's going to be a nap in store for Coach Bob. <laughs> I'm not a big napper. But today, it could happen. It could. I'm just telling you. But we are just about there. Get about a quarter of a mile from our locale. <laughs> this area over here is a really nice area. This is a uh, Killarney Estates or Killarney Estates. Um, but anyway, th this place uh, we looked at houses over here when we bought our house. I sometimes wish we would have bought over here. Um, I really do like it. it. It's it's a little older over here but it's very well maintained and it stood the test of time and those neighborhoods like that I really do like it's relatively flat sidewalks uh, a lot of conveniences around this general area so this is a wonderful place to live and the trees man this is back when they didn't cut every tree down when they when they built your house they they, they cut enough to where they could build the house and left enough to where your home would have some shade and I know that that creates some danger in the sense that a tree could fall on your house and that sort of stuff but but you know as a, as a kid that grew up in the deep south with trees you just really do appreciate you know walking out into the yard and being able to sit up under an oak tree in a lawn chair and, and uh, have a have a glass of tea or a cup of coffee in the morning you know whenever whatever suits your fancy for getting out at that time of day Looks like there are cars here. Oh man, this place is full. Nice. All right, let's see what we got. Oh, this is gonna be great, y'all. Yeah, definitely stick around. This is gonna be cool. All right, well, I'm gonna pull in here and get off of this spider and run some cameras and see what's what. So look, the queen has arrived. Queen has arrived. Oh, hi. <laughs> you were questioning who the queen yeah, was. Yeah, I thought there was like a fancy car. <laughs> you're, you're the queen. A fancy car you or something. By the way, you smell good. You smell great. Oh well, thank you. It's my own. I don't want to say my cheap perfume, but I like it. Thank you. <laughs> that could be a good thing or a bad thing. That's well, a good thing. You smell great. You know, and the, and the thing is, old cars, they have that old car smell. You know, there's the new car smell, and then there's the old car smell. And to me, both are just super, super amazing. They take you to a place. Speaking of new car smell. thing is clean. My parents had a Monte Carlo. That is a clean car. My mom and dad had a Monte Carlo like Probably an eight. Weird. It could have been, it could have been that. 8485. Oh, I remember these cars, man. These were cool. Yeah, my parents had a Monte Carlo. Uh, I would expect nothing less from your parents. That's really funny.
That's a beautiful car, man. Thank you. Is this yours? Yeah. Until when I was a boy, there was a there was a, a, a guy that was a drug rep that was a, one of our family members, right? Wow. So he did a lot of traveling. Mm -hmm. And I remember him pulling up in the driveway. I'd say, boy, that's about 16. I remember him pulling up in the driveway in this car. It wasn't this color. And I remember sitting in it thinking, like, this is the pinnacle, man. This is like, this is like, that's the, what we were just This is like the president. If the president had a sports car, it would be this. It wouldn't be the Jag. It would be this. This is cool. So I, when I, I bought her February 77, and then over the years, there was a lot of wear and tear and things. And Brown then and my wife had other like things to say about the car. <laughs> and <laughs> called her a turd mobile. And just, just really, why don't you get rid of the car? You know, why don't you buy a new Z? I'm not going to buy a new Z. One day I'll get a pretty. Oh no, the new Z. Yeah, I watch just, a lot of old nah, not, well, they don't have this. No, no, no. Beautiful, man. I'll bet you got a ton of time in it. <laughs> always, everybody always has something nice to say when I take it out. You know who the big race is? Yeah, so he's a little beautiful. Yeah. And then when he's doing it. So you say it's a 77? 76. Yeah. That would have been about the year, too, man. Golly. <laughs> <laughs> so big. Well, this was the first speedometer that I can recall as a boy going past 120. You're right. That's right. You know that's true. You get in and yeah. you see. Yeah. Oh, the speedometer is 160. This is serious. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's like, this is serious. It's like that right there. Just that just gave you that feeling in your stomach just from sitting in it. <laughs> well, I don't. I don't know if she'll do 160. But you know but, what? You'll feel like you're doing yeah, 160. Right. That's what bad. That is a beautiful car, brother. Do it. This guy's rolling here. I look familiar. You see the little lights, backup lights, little white lights, jump in one of these.
You know, when I was a, when I was a, a, man. a high schooler, the guys drove these in the in the in the scouts, the international yeah. scouts. They, you know, they the scouts. were tough. You can't find international scouts. You can't, scouts. and, and I, I don't know what. It, we lived in Minnesota, and the yeah. scouts and the Broncos were great little problems. Oh yeah. That's why I didn't find no doors. <laughs> doors are overrated anyway. All right, well just like that we have an empty parking lot and I just had some breakfast slant lunch with Coach Vic. It was awesome and it was great, man. I don't know about you, but my favorite, it was it was it was tough, but I will say it was between the low rider truck at the very very end, which was unbelievably cool. Or, and I'm thinking the winner in my eyes was that old 280Z. You know, it's funny because um, that guy is the original owner of that car, and his wife kept telling him he needed to get rid of it and buy a new 300 or the 350 or whatever they're out with now. It might be up to 380. I have no idea what they're up to now, but and uh, she used to call it the turd. <laughs> and uh, man, that's a fine-looking car. That that that's definitely my favorite car. It brought back a lot of memories. Uh, it was a cousin of my mom who was a drug rep. His name was David, and he used to drive one of those. And and uh, when he was on a sales rep routes, he would stop by the house and have coffee with my mom and dad when I was a boy. And I was probably 14, 15. In fact, that one was a 76 model, which would have made me 14 years old. And I remember sitting in that car, man, and it was just, just a, an amazing feeling. And it had that new car smell back then, too. It was funny. Um, what a great experience, man. I love going up there and, and talking to folks and seeing their, their automobiles. They take great pride in, in the work that they've done on them and all that. It's just really, really cool. But before we check out here, I just want you to do me a favor one more time. Just remind you to subscribe to the channel. Don't want to badger you with it, but don't want to be slack about it either. Um, we just got a phone call, kind of a disturbing phone call as a matter of fact, uh, from my daughter. She's having problems. That's where uh, I'm headed to the house now. Vic is headed up to her place of employment. She's having severe chest pain, so we don't know what that's all about. We'll, we'll find out more. I think Coach Vic's going to take her to the emergency room, whatever. We're going to deal with that today. We'll figure that one out see what's going on. Never a dull moment here in CB3 and CV land. I'm telling you right now. You better run, 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 run. All right, well, I'm going to put this thing in the wind and get towards home and get uh, change clothes and hop in the car and head up there and see what I can find out about the girl Wonder. See if uh, she's got a serious health problem or just a mild bump in the road. I think it is probably due to exhaustion and dehydration. She is known to push herself. I don't know where she could possibly get that from. <laughs> All right. But do me a favor until next time. You go out by the motorcycle of your dreams. Eat right. You got to. Got to take care of that old machine. Take care of yourself. And remember, if you ain't having fun, baby, you are doing it wrong. All right. We'll see you on the road real, real soon. Woo-hoo.